from the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas, extracting the signal from the noise. It I am Craig Nunes. Hi, I'm Ed Walsh. I'm Benny Schneider. I'm Eric Herzog. I'm Calvin Zito. I'm Kevin Deerling. And I'm a Cube alumni. And I'm a Cube alumni. And I'm a the Cube alumni. And I'm a Cube alumni. And I'm a Cube alumni. I'm a Cube alumni. Live from the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering Splunk.com 2015. Brought to you by Splunk. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Rick. Okay, welcome back, everyone. We are live here in Las Vegas for Splunk.com 2015. This is the Cube Silicon Angles. Flagship program, we go out to the events and extract the signals from the noise. I'm John Furrier, founder of Silicon Angle. I'm joined by co-host Jeff Frick, general manager of our Cube business. Our next guest is Mark Olson, SVP, general manager of cloud solutions. Welcome back to the Cube, good to see you. Great, thanks a lot, John. So one of the things we heard from uh, your customers is that the Splunk executives are accessible, they're walking around at the party last night, the CEO's out there. I mean, you guys are out there pounding the pavement. We love it. Our customers have taken the time to be here and to uh, you know, interact with us and learn what we're doing and, and where we're heading. So it's, it's great to be spending as much time with them as possible. So I talked with, we talked with Guido earlier, yeah. uh, SVP of product, and, and, and he said that you know, the goal of product is ship product. Your job is to kind of take that to the cloud. So one of the things that he mentioned in his guiding principles to his team was this transition to the cloud is a big deal. Yep. So give us the update. What's going on with Splunk Cloud? Obviously success, we see Amazon uh, out there, we see on-premise, hybrid cloud's hot. What's the update? Yeah, we couldn't be more excited with the demand we're seeing and, and the growth we're seeing. We tripled our orders in the last nine months and uh, it's, it's taking off. Hybrid is really a key differentiator for us. You know, I've talked a lot about the journey to the cloud. It doesn't happen overnight. Customers have workloads on premise, workloads in the cloud. A true seamless hybrid offering is core to that. What is the definition of hybrid cloud from a, your customer standpoint? Yeah, yeah. Well, it can mean different things to customers, but ultimately the seamless experience is that a customer can have data indexed in Splunk on premise, data indexed in Splunk in the cloud, and the user searching for the data doesn't need to know which data is where. That's true seamless experience. Now we have some customers that do have a siloed environment on-prem and cloud, and they don't want the two to mix for data sensitivity reasons, data privacy reasons, reasons. that's okay too. So talk about the, the impact in terms of customer consumption. You said orders tripled in nine months. Yep. Why is that? Consumption, cost? What's the drivers of that? Growth? Two big drivers, John, that, that we're seeing. You know, one is, again, does a customer want core competency in running, operating, maintaining, updating Splunk? Or do they want core competency in using Splunk, analyzing Splunk, that sophisticated analytics? And often customers are saying, yeah, I, I don't need to run, run and operate. I want to use Splunk. The other big driver is the source of the data. Where is the data originating? So is the data originating in the cloud? You know, the log data, machine data from the workload, is it already in the cloud? Why backhaul that on premise? And those are two big drivers, remain two big drivers for our business. What are the key industries that are adopting the, your cloud first? Is there a kind of trend you're seeing? We're, we're not seeing a trend. In fact, the trend we're seeing is that it spans multiple industries. We have financial services, we have public sector, we have technology, we have online services. Um, you know, retail, manufacturing, we're seeing it span, it's very horizontal. And the other thing we're seeing is also, size of customer doesn't matter. We have customers choosing Splunk Cloud for small deployments. We've got customers sending us multiple terabytes per day. Very large Fortune 50 customers. So what are you hearing here at the event uh, from customers? Obviously, you've got, you're accessible. What are, they, what are they sharing with you? Besides, you guys are awesome, we hear that a lot. But, but <laughs> what, are, what are the specific things that you're hearing from customers? Yeah. We're hearing from customers that they want solutions. You know, we've got a platform and it's incredibly powerful and we've obviously got premium solutions around security, premium solutions now around IT service intelligence. You know, those are going to continue to expand and improve. We've also got customers doing very, very interesting things, very interesting use cases that don't fall into that classic security or IT ops bucket. For instance, Gatwick Airport, using Splunk to minimize um, plane time on the tarmac, using Splunk to optimize, as they would say, their uh, curb to gate experience for a traveler. You know, very unique use cases. And um, 
customers are just saying, help us get there, right? What, what are these use cases that kind of fall out of the two main buckets right now, and what are the prescriptive solutions you can provide to help us get there? And that's the whole chatter, right? Splunk it. What can we splunk? You right. know, it's, it's splunk yes. as a verb. Uh, for all kinds of things, yeah. research and, and uh, every, every morning at breakfast is a really interesting to hear what people are talking about. You know, one of our customers is Orion, early stage startup uh, in the IoT space. They've got um, voice communication devices. They're using Splunk to measure the voice latency through their, through their communication devices. So, what's the role of, What's the role of partners? Yesterday we had a lot of partner focus in cloud, maybe a different dynamic, people, Maybe you see cloud as a different vehicle for how partners go to market, how yeah. technology sharing. Yeah. Is there any difference in how, and what's the role of partners? So we are embracing partners in a big way and we're rolling out a global unified partner program which you may be familiar with or, or, or partners are and one of the key elements of that from a Splunk Cloud perspective is that Splunk Cloud is available for partners to sell just like any other Splunk product. So it doesn't matter what the Splunk product is, partners have the same construct to sell our solutions. So give an example of a customer. Take us through, walk us through a deal um, that you sell and, and where the cloud piece now fits in. Share with us how that look, what that looks like. Yep. You know, how they buy it, what reasons, how much, what, what kind of things they're doing. Right, um, so again, why they're buying really comes down to that where they want their core competency or where the data is. You know, once they've chosen that, and it is a delivery option for customers, Right, so we want to sell the value of Splunk. Customers can choose cloud as a delivery option for those particular reasons, and there's time to value, right? We're spinning customers up immediately after the PO is processed, and we're, we're getting them out of the gate with a, with a great experience. So it's self-service, I mean, yep. they just push, push a button, it's on Amazon, yeah. Yeah, it's on if you want, cloud. Yeah, so if you want 20 gigabytes or less per day, it is full self-service, no touch, they can go to the website, they can do the trial, they can convert that trial to production, and they're off and running, completely no touch. If they want over 20 gigabytes, we introduce a touch for all the right reasons, you know, to get them up and going, but the provisioning of the back end is all fully automated. And that's scale on your end, too. You guys yeah. have that scale. Yeah. yeah. And do you see really the, you know, one of the great things about cloud is bursting, right? Being able to burst capability when yes. you need it, capacity when you need it, and, and turn yes. it off when you don't. And yeah. that was actually one of the, the conversations over breakfast. I, okay. Someone, I think from Indiana University, said you know, they, they're in, they want to expand the use of, of Splunk, they've got a certain license, but you know, how do we do it? And, and really, some, they're looking at the cloud option to be able to do kind of spot Splunk uh, applications within different groups, not really impact their core license, but right. to be able to add and shrink capacity based on kind of the opportunity. That's what the cloud is all about. You know, we've got, you know, a bunch of our cloud customers are obviously net new customers to Splunk, but also we have a significant number that are current on-premise customers and they're looking for that scale and that elasticity. They may have tapped out their on-prem capacity for a variety of reasons, hardware or resource capacity, and so then Splunk Cloud is a way to extend Splunk capacity. Yeah, and it was yeah. clear in your keynote too that the two products, like you said, it's really just a delivery methodology. The yeah. two products are, are in parallel paths in terms of, of development, it's features, et cetera. It's been one of our core design principles from the get-go. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I got to ask you about the privacy security question. Yeah. Always comes up in the cloud. How do you guys address that? Obviously security's a big topic here for your use case of Splunk, but for security in and of itself, yep. of Splunk, the data, obviously, people yep. get fearful of, okay, multi-tenancy cloud, I got to have this, and right. some encryption. Yep. What's the overall story there, and what's your story? Story is threefold, really. One, still, it's choice, right? Customers can choose where they want to deploy Splunk, which makes the most sense for the compliance or privacy requirements that they're operating under. We also have a dedicated environment, right? So customers get dedicated environments, Again, really a core pillar to our overall security posture. And, uh, and then third is our security certifications, right? We're SOC 2, Type 2 certified, we're very transparent there. We provide those certifications to our customers. As part of the choice of the deployment, customers can also choose to encrypt the data at rest. That's, that's an option that they can you know, select or, or deselect. And again, empowering them to decide what they need and what meets their needs. We're processing the data. We're not controlling the data, the data is the customer's data. Tell me about Amazon. You guys had a good presence there. Success, working, how's that? We love our relationship with, it, with AWS. We feel it's very strategic. We're obviously operating out of all of their data centers around the world. 
We've got lots of go-to-market synergy and, and go-to-market activities that we're, that we're doing on a joint path. We'll be at reInvent in a couple weeks back here in Las Vegas, so we're we'll excited about the partnership. Yeah, we'll have theCUBE at, at reInvent October 9th. Yeah. Check out theCUBE. Okay. But things are going well with Amazon. Customers are cool with it. Everything's going great. Absolutely. I mean, the, the quote that I often provide is the one from Gartner, right? Where, where Gartner says AWS is 10x the size of their next 14 competitors combined. So they're, they're a dominant player, they're a great partner, they're a great strategic partner. Other new cloud platforms you guys are talking to? We're continuing to take advantage of everything that Amazon introduces to the market. IBM yeah. Bluemix, as SoftLayer, Amazon, I mean Microsoft. Yep. Are you guys? Yeah, what, what's important there for us, and, and we're hearing this from our customers, is we're physically running Splunk Cloud in AWS. That's very strategic, yep. right? It's, it's really the most robust infrastructure as a service play for so us. So not on Azure. But what is important is any data from any workload in the cloud can be ingested into Splunk, right? And into yeah. Splunk Cloud. So we're agnostic yeah. in terms of where the data is coming from. And that's really, customers want to know that. They want to know that if they do have a workload running in some other platform other than AWS, great. Splunk Cloud can ingest it aggregate it, provide the, the analytics around it. Got it. So what else is new? Headcount, give us the update on the, on the business, staff, hiring, yep. what's some of the things that you're working on? What are your goals? Well, with the tripling of the business over the last <laughs> nine months, we're obviously <laughs> uh, you know, ramping up all of the uh, capabilities to support that. Again, we're really excited. It's about solutions. You know, Godfrey will talk about our Mile 8 initiatives, right? Enterprise partners, solutions, cloud. We're, we're cloud mm -hmm. first. Everything that gets released from Splunk will be available in the cloud and on-prem. That's, that's, that's a driving force, and the solutions that are running on top of Splunk are going to be cloud first. So we were talking earlier on our kickoff that you know, obviously the performance of Splunk is just better and better, but you guys are still a product company, and that is a very key thing because you've got a lot of greenfields, new opportunities. Yep. Solutions get enabled by good software, good products. Yep. Companies can fall into a kind of a, a trap, if you will, if they become too solution-oriented. So how do you guys deal with that, that friction, that balance of we need packaged solutions for our customers, yet you have a product roadmap, product strategy with the technology and the software. How do you guys talk about that internally amongst the E-team? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's fairly straightforward. We want a platform that is incredibly flexible, that customers can go in and do what they want with it and, and find those really interesting use cases and those corner use cases. But for the ones that want a more prescriptive, straightforward, pres you know, prescriptive solution, we want to obviously be there for them as well. And it's, it's striking that balance, but it's not doing one to compromise yeah. the other. So acquisitions have been really good this year. You're seeing a couple of nice white spaces being filled in on the product side with yep. machine learning on the product side. Yes. In your neck of the woods, acquisition, organic growth, how are you balancing the inorganic, organic? I mean, are there white spaces that you're looking at right now that you could share? Uh, you know, we're always looking at all of the <laughs> options. We always are, right? That's, that's uh, you know, we're, we're always going to be doing that. Um, I, I think there's lots of opportunity and, and lots to come on both the organic yeah. and inorganic front. The, the key part there is, where does the cloud fit in that we're able to offer something that's unique, right, to the cloud and, and cloud-centric? And to me, you look at where we're aggregating data, the machine learning, the correlation that we're doing to community data or industry data or anonymized data is all very unique to the cloud and you know, we're given a lot of thought around that. So in Silicon Valley we always talk about the, um, the disruption. Splunk is obviously was a startup, now public, now you know, a big, big company. You guys are the, one of the big guys now. So, you, you, but you're acting like a startup. But I got to ask you about this idea of replatforming. The term that we kick around, oh yeah, we're replatforming this, net, you know, it's a disruption term meaning that Technology is changing the platform configuration of, of industries, mm -hmm. markets or verticals. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see Splunk as one of those new guys? I mean, you hear the stories, Airbnb, Uber, you know, these companies are, are, are the sharing economy where they're yep. in the consumer side. There's a little yep. bit of a bubble going on, but yep. enterprise is growing. Yep. Are you guys one of those new school companies or is it just old school blocking and tackling? What I would say is that the addressable market for machine data and log data has largely been untapped. And, <laughs> you know, we're, we're thrilled to go tap it. And, and there's those and Internet of Things machines adding right. to the mix. Right, I mean, there is so much untapped machine data out there. Thanks for uh, helping validate our thesis at the beginning of the yesterday's <laughs> opening day, but, and that's a good point. I mean, the TAM yeah. is huge. Yes. It's in the billions. Yes. The question is, how tall can Splunk grow? 
That was one of our comments, is like, because you guys are growing, keep growing up, but, but where's the end? I mean, you got people, you got wearables, Internet of Things. I mean, it seems like you guys could continue this pace. All of that data, you know, is optimally ingested with schema on the fly, right? Without having to do all that mapping. So you're going to ingest it, and then you want to be able to ask it whatever you want. You don't have to try to, you don't have to figure out all those questions beforehand, so. All right, final question. I know you got to go, we've got a tight, tight uh, deadline, get a hard stop. What's different from last year to this year for Splunk.com, 2015, vis-a-vis -vis 2014? What's the big change in your mind's eye? What are you observing? What, what notable anecdotal things can you share for the folks that aren't here? that are probably seeing stuff online, Silicon Angle's got the 20 blog posts out there already, uh, a lot of buzz, but what's different this year than yep. last year? Yep, big differences to me are just the progress that we're making on all fronts, technology front, people front, uh, customer front solutions, we're, we're you know, making progress by leaps and bounds, and you know, we're thrilled to be uh, on the journey with our customers on that. And you got to get that budget up for the more headcount, you're tripling your numbers. Congratulations, Mark, great yeah, to see you. Yeah, thanks very much, thank okay. you. All right. We are sharing the insight here on theCUBE. We're ingesting the data from the Splunk executives, sharing it with you here on theCUBE. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>